Okay guys, welcome to part two of the flux mode video. Um, in this one, I'm just going to show you a little bit more advanced features um, as Tractor hasn't included a feedback um, uh, on the on the screen uh, to show you how to uh, to show you that flux mode is on. We uh, we're going to set up an LED to give you that feedback. So in the uh, before we do this, you want to make sure that the effect settings. Um, are set. Um, you need one of the effects panels to be a group panel, so like this one here. Um, we um, we need it to be the group setting and uh, this, not the single one. To do that, we can go into the effects and um, well, hold on. Click on the effects in the preferences, and just in here, you can set it to group. Um, any one of them is fine, whichever one you choose. Um, now this is mainly for the X1 uh, setting up, but it will work for any uh, any controller so long as you've got a, a free um, button or LED f with LED feedback to uh, to make that work. So um, we'll go into System Preferences, and in the Preferences um, we can go to Controller Manager, and I'm going to choose the uh, Control X1. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add out. So in deck common at the near the bottom here, we've got uh, flux mode on. So I've add out flux mode on. Then we're going to learn which button it is. So I'm going to press this button right here and assign that. The reason I'm picking that one and uh, the reason we need this effect unit like this is because this effect unit uh, only utilizes these three buttons. Um, for feedback and for function, uh, the, uh, the the sort of single um, f the single uh, effects unit will use more. So this is leaves this button nice and free for us to use. So that's why we've done it that way. So now what we'll notice is um, we'll need to uh, we'll need to check to see if that's worked. So in the drop down here um, on deck B, we can turn flux mode on, and you'll notice that the light came on here. If I change the focus over to deck A, you'll see it's gone off again. Back to B comes on again. So it's telling us that flux mode is on on deck B, but not on deck A. If I go ahead and turn it on on deck A, you'll see the light comes back on again. And if I move to deck B, it's still on. So that's just showing us that the feedback is on. So um, instead of using this uh, drop down um, for flux mode, we can uh, set up a uh, hotkey or something. So we'll go into um, the keyboard, default keyboard, and for this one we do an add in. So it's a message in and deck common and then flux mode on. And I'm going to click learn and then I'm going to use command um, and shift. Or oh, sorry, shift and, and uh, enter on the number pad. Same as in the first video. Okay, so we'll close that uh, down. And now, uh, if I use Shift and Enter, you'll see uh, the light comes on. The one thing that we need to do is make sure that the button, instead of it being a hold here, as you noticed, uh, I seemed I had to hold it there. The one thing we need to make sure we do is change it from hold to toggle. And uh, then you'll see when I Shift Enter, the the the, the light will stay on. Okay. Um, so again, we change focus. Same thing works this way. Lights on and off. So that's a very quick way um, for you to assign an LED and some buttons uh, to the flux mode so you can see what state you're in. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you again.